Hello guys, this is Roto. So I'm to review one snip. This is called Fiskus Thread Snip. And I'm going to unbox today. I'm going to try out for the first time. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. I did a little bit of online search, what is really good for uh, Thread Snip. I think this is the one. Uh, I haven't tried it yet. I have to see how it holds up for, for a long time. Uh, I'm not sure if you have seen the other videos. This um, Japanese scissors, this is first ever product that has really disappointed me uh, from from Japan. So I do have a huge respect for Japanese guys. I love Japanese products, but this company, for some reason, I don't know how they um, let the quality control guys let the this scissors um, go out of their production. Um, it's just that this scissors doesn't cut at all. So I'm not sure if this is has to do with the sharpness or um, or the alignment of the. Thing. I will just have it as a specimen of how badly it can cut thread. It doesn't cut, it's almost um, just biting off the, the thread, it's not cutting. So I had to find one scissors. I'm not sure what happened to all of my thread snips. I had I had a lot of a um, lot of them uh, somewhere in my stuff, but can't find it at all. So this is this was my first attempt to buy one. Uh, now it's so useless. So this one. For the money and also what they feature in or how they function, I think this is a great value. I'll put the link in the description in the comment box where you can purchase this directly. Yeah. So uh, this is a Finnish brand. Um, this is made in China. Uh, the company is based in Helsinki. But then this product, the berry product, sometimes they do also make it, make the product in Finland. But this one is made in China. But nowadays, you know, everything is made in China. So, um, French, also um, here, this says ultra sharp blades, spring action for quick cuts, ergonomic soft grip handle, built in blade cover. This is really got me hooked up into this um, choosing this product. I mean, if it has integrated this um, blade cover, you know, I'm in. You know, that was the thing. So, let's unbox it. So, all right, so. Oh yeah, oh, it feels very solid. It feels very solid. It is very ergonomic. I can just feel that this has a very good quality. I mean, the spring action on these is very nice. Let's try to cut test the same thread. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It cuts very well. Can you guys see it on camera? Okay. Mm. I like that this this type of scissors it has a really ergonomic shape and handle. The the rubber grip also just gives you really good safety feature that you just pinch it like you pinch your fist, but and also cuts it. I mean. This will really reduce the fatigue of your fingers and hands. I mean, recently now I'm really thinking about taking over myself, my body, really a lot because I can feel that you know, it really adds up a lot of lot of things if you uh, do your craft and you, if you do something for your work. I mean, it's just a lot of lot of things you need to really take care of your body before it goes really um, before your body really knocks you over. If you know what I mean, so. It cuts beautifully. I mean, it is 10 times better than this one um, in terms of size, length, a bit similar. This one is longer, really thicker, but obviously thicker means this the, the whole thing just comes in really grippy. I'm left-handed, but this scissor is intended for uh, right-handed use, obviously, I think, yeah. Doesn't matter, it's for both hands. Right now, and I was thinking how to use this cover. Uh, okay. Aha, uh -huh, okay. So, okay, like this. So, just felt that this should be done like this. It's open, open, open end, but can't really poke it through or damage the blades just locks in. So this thing just locks in place. It doesn't go back. I think this button allows it to pull it back. Yeah. Yeah, as well. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it just clicks also. 
it stays also stay back as you um, pull it. It doesn't go forward either. So when you need to pull it, pull it forward, you also press the button and push it forward. So pinch it, yeah, and press the button and just move forward, let it go. That's it. So again, pinch it, pull it back, open. That's it. So there's a reason why I chose this type of um, covers because I'm trying to pack a kit um, into another box. I need to pack my all these things together when I want to travel with me and uh, I will try to really come up with a kit and this thing should be within that um, within that kit. So I need something that is uh, less troublesome to pack. So I need everything with a case or um, the tip that protects the, the sharp edge or damage, it will damage the other tools or damage the case. So uh, this will be my um, kit. Uh, inside my um, toolbox. So yeah, that's it. So Fiskus, this brand I always trust because I do have a lot of um, household scissors by, made by Fiskus. So this one is also made by Fiskus. This one is made in Finland. Yeah, this one is left-handed scissors. These Northern Europeans are really nice because they always produce something for left-handed guys. So this is why I, I like the Fiskus guys. They are, they are really wonderful people from Northern Europe. So. <laughs> This is their trademark, um, their tra typical household scissors. They call it orange handle scissors. It's very pretty standard. Um, I mean, they do. It's a stainless blade. Uh, for this, also, I think it is a stainless blade as well. Uh, it doesn't state. Yeah, it states. It's a. So on top here. Ultra sharp stainless steel. It says. Yeah. So, it is also stainless. So um, it's a decent stainless steel, I think. It's not, obviously it's not uh, one of the 500 US dollar scissors that you uh, buy from Artisans. It's not that, but then it's a good quality. I've been using this scissor for two years now and it ho still holds an edge and it still cuts really beautiful. The way it cuts, you can hear the sound. It's, it's nice scissor. So they do, comes with a quality. Again, I'll put the link in the description in the comment box where you can purchase this directly. Yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. As always, I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.